A few weeks back, I posted about my infosec experience on Twitter, and it got me thinking that there are many people out there who are doing the same exact mistakes that I did for years. I knew I need to address these mistakes because these can have a huge impact on an individual sooner or later. Being active on Twitter and within the community, I often see beginners opting for these bug bounty courses. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all in for education, but I strongly believe that education should be accessible to everyone and for free. Moreover, I notice that many people are stuck at the basics without realizing that it won't take them very far. For example, hunting for the CSRF vulnerabilities might not be helpful in the near future as these frameworks are taking precautions by default. I too was in the same situation as you, and let me tell you, it's not that easy to move forward. But guess what? It's not that hard either if you decide to hack your mind and explore more creative avenues. Now, let me share my story with you. I have been doing bug bounties for the past five years of my life, starting with Web 2 before fully transitioning into Web 3. Like many others, I wanted to be one of the best hackers out there. But here's the thing: I wanted to achieve that without putting any efforts. I didn't bother to learn new things because I thought I might miss out on those easy-to-find vulnerabilities like IDOS in newly launched programs. Looking back, I regret choosing money over personal growth and skill development. My hacking repertoire consisted of low-hanging fruits such as CSRF and IDOS. However, I was too afraid to go into more complex bugs like remote code executions and conducting my own research. Now, don't get me wrong; finding those CSRF issues are not easy to find, nor less important. But think about it: your friends are also looking for those too, right? There's someone I want to give shout out to: Live Overflow. He's my rock star, and his video on real world CTF had a profound impact on my life. Seeing him travel with his tech friends, doing what he loves the most, and competing among the best—it was the feeling I craved. That's when I decided to change myself. Sticking with the basics wouldn't take me anywhere. I wanted to become a better version of myself, so I decided to take up a programming language to learn how things are work and build. Trust me, finding bugs in your own code and correlating that with others' coding style is a whole new experience. I chose Python as my starting point because it's incredibly easy to get started with. I built small automation scripts because projects like Project Discovery didn't exist back then. The next step was to build web apps. I embarked on random projects. I cannot remember half of the things I built, but the goal was to learn and grow. CTFs are an incredible concept for learning new things. The CTF community has grown so much that every weekend there are multiple CTFs events happening, ranging from beginner-friendly challenges to hardcore ones. I was fascinated by the amount of efforts and collaboration these guys put into solve these challenges, so I wanted to give it a shot. And guess what? I tried and failed miserably. I remember attempting three or four challenges and not being able to solve any of them. It was blow to my confidence, and I can feel the imposter syndrome kicking in. How could I, someone who had been in this field for years, fail at solving these simple, vulnerable challenges? It was incredibly disappointing. However, I realized that besides technical learning, CTFs also teaches you the value of patience and the importance of asking questions, no matter how silly they may seem. Trust me, there is no silly question in the community. People are there to help you, and no one is going to judge you. CTFs are meant for fun and learning. Throughout my journey, I have had the opportunity to collaborate with numerous geniuses, learning from them and observing how they tackle the complex situations has been invaluable. When you have friends who are exploring new technologies and conducting their own research, collaborating with them can open up new doors for learning. It may not directly impact your bug bounty journey at first, but acquiring new skills is never a waste. During my CTF journey, I dived into various areas such as Web 2, Web 3, and binary exploitation. Now, I won't claim to be an expert in these domains, but I have confidence in my ability to learn new things and explore less traveled paths. While I may have not earned substantial bounties along the way, I gained something even more valuable. That is confidence. I gained confidence to stand in front of the people, talk about my experience and collaborate with others. Ultimately, that's what hacking is all about, having fun and enjoying the process. So, to sum it all up, here are the key lessons I've learned. Keep learning and exploring beyond the basics. Never be afraid to ask questions, no matter how simple they may seem. Collaboration is essential. 
whenever and wherever there is an opportunity to collaborate, seize it. Participate in CTS, not just to win or prove yourself, but to have fun and learn. Remember, everyone starts as a noob in any field. It's the dedication to learn, explore and overcome the challenges that will help you achieve your goals. Embrace the journey and never stop growing.